Joined by TSN hockey analyst Mark Mathot. Mark, the PWHL has been a huge hit in its inaugural season, thanks in part to the fact they can indeed now hit in the women's game, and the rivalries have led to lots of that. Mark, the Ottawa team brought you in as a hitting instructor. What was that like? It was incredible, Gino. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but you have to remember, a lot of these girls grew up not playing in contact. Now, there's a split. I had a lot of conversations with them, and it, they were pretty half and half as far as how they grew up playing. Some of them played with a lot of boys. There was a little bit more contact in that regard. And then the other ones, maybe a little more segregated among the girls, were completely unaware of how to maybe absorb a hit or deliver one. So um, Pierre Grew, the goalie coach of the Ottawa Senators, from when I played for Ottawa, is now the goalie coach with the PWHL team here in Ottawa. And he reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked if I'd come out and help. And um, it was pretty loose. It was during the World Championship. So you had about 12, 13 players on the ice. But they were so receptive. That was the one thing I really noticed with that group was they had tons of questions. There was no ego involved. They were all willing to listen and learn. And, um, you know, I wasn't really sure what to run them through as far as drills go. I was kind of intimidated. I'm not teaching kids or my six-year-old. These are, these are professionals. So um, they absorbed all the information very well. We had a little bit of fun, a lot of laughs. Um, I taught them my patented hip check. That was another area that we kind of <laughs> dive, dove into. I don't know if it's legal, um, but you're right. Checking is now implemented. There's a little bit of a gray area with the Geno where maybe the open ice hits aren't necessarily promoted just yet, but a lot of stuff along the walls are very much a thing now in that league. And, of course, the, um, the entire reason for me being there was just to help them out and avoid injuries and learning how to absorb hits along the walls. Now, there was rumor you also spent a little time teaching them what to do in case they drop the gloves. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping there's no video because, listen, I by no means was a tough guy. I told them all that, but again, a scenario that they're just not used to. Now, I don't anticipate that we're going to see full-on line brawls in the PWHL anytime soon. It's a possibility, perhaps, next season. But I think ultimately when it came down to it, I just told them, you guys don't have to worry about fighting big, tough, you know, tough guys per se, one-dimensional players. They all have full cages on. They're well-protected. So my encouragement and the words of encouragement that I was using was just play hard. Get in their faces. Take on that pest role because you can get away with it right now at that level. Certainly now that uh, hitting has been implemented and allowed, I think we're going to see the game evolve even more here moving forward. You've got a personal stake in all this as well, don't you, surrounding your daughter Ivy. Tell us about that. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. That's an area that I take very seriously. She just started skating, um, and I always say this to people. I don't want my kids growing up looking at me in their later teens saying to me, Dad, why didn't you push me a little bit more? You played in the National Hockey League. Why aren't you pushing me? So I'm all in right now as a hockey dad. I'm towing the line between crazy and normal. <laughs> I think I'm ha I'm, I've found that happy medium. Uh, but for me, it's all about skating and having fun. And um, I, I just like that my daughter now has something to look up to. You know, it's not just a bunch of guys playing in the NHL. She's got women that she can look up to. And for me, that's very important. That's awesome. Mark Ottawa plays its first game since your hitting lessons this Saturday against Minnesota. So we're going to wait and see how you did as an instructor.